Welcome to Workbench Wednesday. Today we will be applying texture paint, a wash, and a quick dry brush to a flat black base to show the results, which will end up being something along this, where you can see I've built up quite a bit on that one side. And texture paints are quite versatile in the way that they can be used because they can also apply like this one, where you end up with some smaller pebbles. To achieve kind of a uh, sporadic look, I've just got a heavy amount dosed onto this brush here, and we're just gonna take it and smear it on. Be pretty liberal with it because you are covering up dark black bases. Don't worry about getting it on the sides because you can always take your finger and smear those off. Or when it dries, you can use a little bit of sandpaper and, and uh, rub it off with that. So we're trying to get some rocks on here. And as you can see, I still haven't filled in that dimple on the center of the base. So I'm gonna try and get a little bit extra stuck in there, uh, as you can see like that. And then we just take the brush and we dab it down. It's best to use an older brush or one that you don't care about because you don't wanna be wrecking them. And also I find uh, if you're like me and lazy and don't uh, clean your water too often, it can result in some pretty messy mixes. So we're gonna let this dry and we'll come back for a wash. All right, so we have our base completely dry, well, relatively dry here. We're just gonna take some Agrax Earthshade and we're gonna really just coat the base in that. You wanna get it in all the nooks and crannies as we go. Let's get this on here, no, that's not enough. I really like to soak the brush because like, if you have too much, you can always just mop it up and place it onto the next one. So here we go, we're applying that very heavily, as you can see there. And it will, if you let it pool, dry with a bit of a glossy effect, which can be distracting to some people. Uh, I personally don't mind, cause it's kind of the base a bit of a wet look. But for this one, we're gonna go for something a little drier. So I've now just cleaned off my brush a tad and we're just gonna mop up some of the extra stuff. Returning it to the pot because this is my basing agrax and I don't mind if it has a little bit of texture in it. And so there you go, we got more of a desired effect there. And I'm gonna give it one last little mop up just to get the last of the recesses, like so. And there we go. So we're gonna let that dry and then we'll hit the last step, which is, or I guess the second last step actually, which is just to give it a quick dry brush. And with our wash now dried, we're gonna take some Yashapti Bone. You can also use uh, Kerak Stone, pretty much any lighter beige color. And you're just gonna get uh, your piece of paper towel here. And you're just gonna take your brush and you're gonna try and dry off a little bit of the paint. So that way you're not oversaturating when you go over the base for the first time. And so taking our base, we are going to take our dry brush here. And you can use any kind of brush as long as it's got relatively stiff bristles. Uh, this one's okay. I think it's, um, yeah, it's a Taimaya modeling brush. Um, so pretty much any cheap brush will work at the end of the day. And if you have really big bristle brushes, you can always chop them down to make a uh, kind of dry brush style, similar to this one here that I've taken and chopped down because it was pretty uh, beat up and in rough shape. So we're going to take our base and we're going to apply our dry brushing and what you want to do is go in one direction across the base to slowly build up those pigments on the tips of the stones and rocks and gravel so i'm just slightly rotating the base as i go and this allows for a little bit more covering on the tops of the stones and the little pieces of pebble and dirt And so you can do this to varying degrees of lightness. If you really want to go crazy, I guess you could take another color and dry brush, uh, like take a darker beige, dry brush that on, then take a, another lighter shade of beige, dry brush that on and build up the pigment. But I find uh, with this combination of the texture paint, the Agrax and your shop T-bone, you get a pretty good desirable look. So just to show you a side-by-side, -side, we started off with this one here, which is much darker. And by applying that Yashabti bone, we end up with uh, those picked up little pigment stone tips and you get kind of like a little sandy effect. So we have our Grot Gretchen fixed to the base. I've already done two coats of Steel Legion Drab around the rim, but I'm gonna do it again just to show you. So we've got our paint already thinned and we're gonna take some, load up our brush, give it a little twist and we're going to take this paint and we're gonna apply it along the outside layer. Some people like to take their brush and go this way. I prefer to kind of drag it across from point to like the flat side. And so what's gonna end up happening is you're just gonna apply this onto the base, gives it a nice finished look. And then once this layer is dry, you can take a sealant or a varnish or anything like that 
and just give the model a good coating. That'll just help lock in the texture paint. It'll help keep the rim uh, protected. And then also your model as well. So once that's dry, uh, we can take it outside, give it a spray with a spray varnish, and then we can apply some other little details to the base, such as a self-adhesive grass. And these come in all different colors, shapes, and sizes. And I just wanted to take this time to also show you kind of the finished product on a custom, or sorry, this isn't a custom Boosted Blaster. This is the uh, Def Killer War Trike. And so you can see we've taken it and we've really liberally, oh, there's a little bit of dirt on there, very liberally applied it. And we've got like these kind of rockier parts. It's all been dry brushed and done the exact same way. And then we did up the side with Steel Legion Drab. And so that's what you get. You end up with a pretty solid looking guy. This guy's almost dry actually because we thinned it out with so much water. And so yeah, once he's done, we'll give him a varnish and he'll be good to go. Tabletop ready.